Burns writing on the board. <laughs> Suddenly, it's not so funny. So, remember everyone, paper's due tomorrow on the War of 1812. I can't believe I forgot about the assignment. There's no way I can write 20 pages in one night. I don't know anything about the War of 1812. She's never even taught it. I'm turning in the paper I did last year. One of the benefits of repeating a grade. Where did I put my glasses? They're in your hair. I don't see them. They're still in your hair. Where's my hair? I guess you won't be able to read our assignments. Which I totally did. Poppycock. I still have my reading glasses. And my help me find my reading glasses glasses. Maybe we'll get lucky and Bern will be sick tomorrow. I wouldn't count on it. She's been around so long, she's built up a resistance to every disease known to man. She's never missed a day of school. She's never even taken a vacation. Never taken a vacation? That's awful. Not for the people on the beaches around the world who've been spared the sight of her in a tankini. <laughs> Do you know anyone who could look after my hamster, Mr. Ticklesmith? I was going to send him to the rodent hotel, but that place is crawling with rats. I'll do it. I'm going to my aunt's house for a couple of nights, and I can't bring him. He hates her cooking, and he's a terrible liar. Really, I'll do it. I'm mature, dependable, caring, and I'll make a great husband and father someday, and why can't I stop talking? <laughs> You realize looking after a hamster is a huge responsibility. I'm a teacher. I'm responsible for the well-being of my students every day. I'm basically an adult. Yes! <laughs> Sticker doodle. <laughs> Please pass your War of 1812 assignments in. One sec. Almost finished. Now, on to an exciting new topic. Who has heard of the War of 1812? Telegram from Mrs. Boeing. I'm Mrs. Boeing. Dear madam, stop. I am pleased to inform you that you have won an all expenses paid tropical cruise. Stop. <laughs> I don't remember entering The ship a... leaves port today. Stop. So if you're collecting assignments, stop. Stop. So exciting. I've never won anything before. Came close. With that balloon race around the world, 81 days. Here are your tickets and all the details. Well, looks like I'm out of here. Slap, I'm putting you in charge. <sighs> All right. Things are going to be a little different around here now. Who has heard of the War of 1812? I built this hammy trail just for you. Good with little ones and handy around the house. So maybe you could tell mommy how wonderful I am. Who are you talking to? Oh, Mr. Tickle Schmutz. Oh, I see. I call mine Slab Junior. <laughs> yep, sure do love my hamster. What can I do for you, Slab? Can I ask you a question, educator to educator? 
okay? When a student gets the answer wrong, how hard do you hit them? Uh, slab, teachers don't hit students. In fact, I'm very nurturing. So if you see Echo, you might want to casually slip that into the conversation. Before or after I tell her her hamster's dead? What? No, no, this can't be happening. He's not moving. Come on, Mr. Tickleschmutz, stay with me. <laughs> Clear! <laughs> Clear! <laughs> He's gone, man. He's gone. How did this happen? Don't ask me. I teach history. <laughs>
gagging in the middle of the court. All of this activity must be wearing you out. Piffle. All I've done is worked up an appetite. Where's the buffet? The what now? The buffet. These steamships always have big, fancy spreads. Right. But, um, lunch doesn't start for another 30 minutes, so why don't you try to win our limbo contest? <laughs> Hey, Echo. How's Mr. Tickleschmutz? The exact same hamster that you gave to me and I returned to you. You mean this one? He's a little plump, but don't worry. He just needs a little exercise. how flexible I am when I take off my stockings. Bienvenue, madame. Can I interest you in some asobuco? Sounds great, Ash Slinger, but no thank you. Or perhaps you'd prefer the Alaskan king crab. <laughs> or the Baron de Biff. <laughs> or if you'd rather to sneak over to the kid buffet, for some mac and cheese or chicken nuggets, I won't tell. I think I'll skip lunch. What? But you told me... I, I mean, Frankie, our public cruise director, that you were hungry. Oh, true. But you're not supposed to eat 30 minutes before swimming. Swimming? With the dolphins. It's in the activities brochure. Ah, oh, Frankie! I'm going to change into my bathing garment. Unless you have an own natural policy. No bathing garment. <laughs> One of your students ate all the chalk. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Everything okay? Uh, yeah, it's great. <laughs> Just uh, drop some chalk like this. Ah! <laughs> How is Mr. Tickleschmitz's exercise going? Has he slimmed down? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Mr. Tickleschmitz is huge. Adam, what's going on with this hamster? He must be having an extreme reaction to the growth hormones. You gave growth hormones to Mr. Tickleschmitz? <laughs> no, to his clone. Clone? Where is my hamster? Dead. Way to soft pedal it. What do you want from me? I'm a teacher, not a guidance counselor. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I can't believe he's gone. I love this hamster. He's alive! <laughs> Zombie hamster! I don't understand. He was in the hammy trail. He wasn't moving. He wasn't breathing. Over there? By the air conditioning vent? Yes. Then he wasn't dead. He was asleep. Sudden drops in temperature can make hamsters go into spontaneous hibernation. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't know that. You're a science teacher. You know, I'm sick of our union protecting duds like you. Hey. I created a monstrously giant hamster. That's pretty impressive. I'd be more impressed if you taught him how to stay. Oh, no. He's gone. Wait, don't leave me alone with the zombie. I really thought we'd find that giant hamster at the buffet. Can't blame it for not being there. That salad bar was disappointing. This, on the other hand. What is that? OK, so I snuck a crab leg. No, that. <laughs> It's a nest. The War of 1812 began... There! They must have seen the hamster. Why else would they be screaming in horror? <laughs> They're so graceful and majestic. <laughs> and 
and intelligent. Almost human. Mermaids! I'll have quite the story to tell tonight in the lounge. The where? I mean... The lounge. They always have great entertainment. I'll bet the headliner will be some serious man candy. I think I hear that overgrown beast. Overgrown beast? According to this beast chart, I'm actually on the smaller end of the spectrum. <laughs> Slightly larger than the ogre, yet smaller than the minotaur and the yeti. Slab, that food is for the hamster. We're still trying to find it. Why don't you look right behind you? <laughs> okay, don't worry, I have a plan. See you! <laughs> nice hamster. <laughs> Remember me? <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> ah, help, ah! Hey, no running in the halls, mister. Not much of a turnout. Everyone must be at the casino. Low lifes. <laughs> Ladies and germs. Oh, he said germs instead of gentlemen. <laughs> Put your hands together for the vocal stylings of the one, the only, Apollo Biggs. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're a great looking audience. Especially you. <laughs> okay, cats. Give me a groove I can shake my moneymaker to. What? We just joined Junior Orchestra. So play a scale or something. Do, re, me. And by me, I mean you and me. In fact, from now on, it's gonna be do, re, us. Do, re, us, ba, so, la, ti, do. I love that song. I haven't heard it since I was a little girl. <laughs> oh, oh, no. OK. <laughs> nice hammy. Why am I so cold? Am I already dead? Ow! Well, at least I know I'm not dead. <laughs> Told you I had a plan. I found the main controls for the school's air conditioner and blasted it. It may be blasting for quite some time. So the hamster's hibernating? Echo, you're a genius. <laughs> well, not literally. Genius is a very specific term that only applies to 0.001% of the population, but still, good work. you were able to reverse the effects of the growth hormones. Ah, and now Mr. Tickleschwitz has a little friend. It's amazing that you're able to clone an animal. Could you do that to a person? No, of course not. Ow! Derby, what are you doing? I'm turning your science lab into a sauna. When am I gonna find time to finish my history paper? You know all the assignments were destroyed by the giant hamster, right? Giant hamster? I think of that. There you are, Apollo. This has been one of the best nights I've had in more than a century. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget you, foxy lady. 
You won't have a chance to. I've decided to use all of the vacation days I've saved up over the years and extend my cruise. What? I hear the spa has couples massage. <laughs> Why has it gotten so cold in here? Uh, because our incompetent captain has drifted off course and we've entered Arctic waters. In fact, Iceberg dead ahead! Oh no! Not again! <laughs> Goodbye, Apollo. I love you. No, don't say your goodbyes. Don't you give up. I'm so cold. I can't feel my body. Well, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Promise me that you'll survive. That you'll never give up. No matter what happens. Promise me now. And never let go of that promise. I promise. I will never give up. I'll never let go. Let go. <laughs> my spare glasses. Oh. I'm drowning. Hello, Derby. <laughs> Did you hand in your assignment? Actually, all the assignments were destroyed by a giant hamster. <laughs> you can't fool me that easily. <laughs>